Previously on Vogwa, the broke Sonko. We are not here for you. We are here because we have been tipped that bad, the bad guy was seen loitering around this area. Oh, that's really scary. Ah! Ah, what is that? There is some strange noise coming from your house. I don't know. Maybe someone is just watching a bad movie. Look officers, I know you mean well, but I have had a really long night. I would really like to rest. Besides, every citizen has a right to scream or sing at night, especially with the COVID trauma. My whole life, my whole life, I have never seen someone as clumsy as you. You, you, you are a good for nothing thief. Boozy. I am very disappointed in you. I am so sorry. Mother, is everything okay? Bokwa, it is a good thing you have brought the police. Because this guy has ruined everything. Just get them out of my house. Get them out of my house right now. I do not need your services anymore. Where when the kichwa ya kuku? Where when the mave ya kuku? Kwenda uko. Kwenda kabisa. Ah, uh, Mama Mogwa, thank you so much. We will make sure the government pays you for your services. You have captured this thief, and we are very proud of you. Thank you so much, Mr. Policeman. I don't want you to thank me. Please don't thank me. Just give me my reward and go with this guy. Nime choka. Ah. Hello and good evening. Thank you for joining the Kitchen Express News. My name is Victoria Bubadiri. Tonight, we start with breaking news. Bird the bad guy is in jail because of a brave Kenyan woman. Her bravery has exempted her from the KRA taxes, VAT, among others. She has also been exempted from the COVID curfews. She is one of the few citizens who can tanga tanga at night and even after 10 p.m. without being arrested. Take a look at her speech. Hey, I would like to thank the Kenyan government. Thank you, thank you very much. As a woman, I am very honored to take this prize. Thank you and thank you very much. In other news, 
The president has issued new directives to slow the spread of COVID-19. Take a look. Mr. President, thank you for joining us tonight. You have seen how some Kenyan citizens are dealing with domestic crime. What's your take on Mbugwa's mom? Thank you very, very much for such a clever question. As you all know, COVID has done a lot of havoc in this economy. It has turned many innocent men into thieves. It has turned many men into goods. It has made many sane people mad. But most importantly, it has turned our women to shiro, hero for men. I think Bogwa's mom has done a good job of securing cheap labor and has also helped the police in maintaining law and order. I also want to rout the rest of Kenyans out there who understand the situation and are willing to do volunteer work besides remitting their taxes and all other government costs. Wow. Mr. President, you are so wise. I was born wise. <laughs> I'm just as humble as you can see. Well, I must say that this is duly noted by all. I guess your wisdom is very profound. Do you have any parting shots? As the way forward, I would like to impose some sanctions and curfews. I'd like to sanction all of you from asking me foolish questions on social media. As you all know, the cost of living has skyrocketed, and I think you can and should stop using internet all the time. Even me, I'm not always in bookface and Twitter. I also want to close down some places so as to manage COVID. From now on, I have closed all zebra crossing in Nairobi and Mobasa, Kuna Kutagataga. I'm also closing down all the bars all the sarons, all the toilets, and all the matatus. We need to use do this because all the matatus are polluting the air, and that increases the COVID cases. I've also consulted with the experts. And together, in consultation with the religious leaders, we are closing all churches, all mosques, all temples, all places, religious joints, for two weeks and two days, starting from tomorrow afternoon. Also, I'm closing down all marriages and funerals. If you are not married, register yourself in the Ministry of Registration. The government will create an enabling dating space for rotation. If you don't upload all your details in the portal, the government will match you with a spouse. Yes, nobody is allowed to die until the curfew ends. What do Masarun? Now, Baba, you can go and leave until further notice. Kiri ni nyuere kira mutu wa baki na zake. In English. No, hair is brain. And everyone should remain with their own. Sadi sana. Thank you very much. Mukue na wakati muema. Na muvumirie kuwa Kenyans. Kwa heri. Goodbye. See you later. I hope you heard it from the horse's mouth. There are new directives and all citizens are expected to cooperate. Good luck. You are going to need it. Wow. This is very interesting, I guess being a Kenyan means that you can be subjected to new laws. Oh no. Oh my goodness. What's going on?